Hi, I've been looking for an alternative for servo motors for some time. I don't like servo motors that much because they are so fragile and also they make the movements of the robots very mechanical and the servo motors take up space where you don't want it like in the arms or in the fingers of the robot. So I found as an alternative air muscles and maybe you have seen them already. Basically the air muscles are made of, uh, of material like this. It's braided mesh sleeve. And because of the diagonal structure of the material, when you compress it like this, it will expand in this direction. And also the other way around, if it expands, it will contract. So when you fill it with silicon tube like this, and you fill the tube with air, it will expand and the muscle will contract. However, to inflate this, this tube, you need at least, I think, uh, 7 bars or 100 psi. And also I want to make small scale muscles. So actually I found the same material in this size. Very cute. It jumps back easily. And I found this tube. It's uh, latex. It inflates like a, like a balloon. And from that I built this air muscle. Air goes in here and it will inflate like this. Let me show you how I built it. So here is a piece of the braided mesh sleeve. And latex tube. It's very stretchy. And this is polyurethane tube, 4 millimeters. A piece of cord. And two zip ties. The tools are very basic. Let's start by cutting a piece of the polyurethane tube. The size does not matter. And I will heat it one centimeter from the end, half an inch. Oops, the nail will keep the, the ends aligned. And when I gently press, you see a little ribbon on the tube. I will put a knot at the end of the cord. As close to the end as possible. And then I will melt the end of the cord till it meets the knot. Be careful not to burn it. I will also melt the ends of the sleeve. This has two functions. One is it avoids the sleeve to unravel. And second is it gives a little edge for the zip ties to hold on later. Now I work the tube through the sleeve. There it is. And this is the prepared end of the polyurethane tube. I have to insert it at least two centimeter in the tube. If someone has a tip how to do it more efficiently, please let me know.
Let's speed it up. And after five minutes of rubbing, there it is. I align the sleeve with the end of the tube, the latex tube. So be sure the zip tie is behind the ribbon. So I can feel the ribbon here. This is one end. Cut it so it aligns neatly with the sleeve. Like this. And again, the challenge is to work this not inside the tube. Be careful not to punch the tube with the nail. Again, align the end of the sleeve with the end of the tube and place the zip tie over the knot. Behind the knot, in fact. There you go, one little air missile. Let's look at the air missile in action. Here it has a small load. And since there is a little leak in the system, you will see it drop down slowly. This is a somewhat heavier load. And this is one and a half kilogram. As you can see, he's still lifted, but slightly lower height. And these are the results. So creating an air muscle seems quite doable, but then making them work is not a problem. Of course, on board of your robot you need some air pressure, which can be either a pump or a CO2 cartridge, which both will be fine. But then you need to regulate that air pressure. And if you look in your dishwasher, you will find valves like this, with a little magnet here, and there's the actual valve, but those valves will operate in binary mode, they are either on or off. And of course you want to regulate the air pressure from zero to maximum value and all values in between. So therefore I created my own valve, and here you see the cross section. An electromagnet will push downward on the black rod and this will open the red valve at the bottom. So air will flow from the inlet to the air muscle. But then pressure will build up below the membrane 
and this will push back from the, the force from the electromagnet until the red valve closes again. And at this point, the air muscle is extended proportional to the force applied by the electromagnet. When then the electromagnet is released, the membrane will move upwards and this will open the release valve, the blue one, and air will flow from the air muscle to the outlet. I will need to go through several iterations of prototypes to get the dimensions right and to make it work in a robust way. And it will include machined parts and 3D printed parts. So my plan is to actually build a small series of these vaults to cover some of my investments. If you are interested, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, I will keep you updated. Thank you very much for listening. Bye bye.